Chip and Joanna Gaines are suing the McLennan County Appraisal District for the rise in their property values. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Lindsay Lipman. Eliza Navarro got reaction from Magnolia and locals. Eliza. Yes, Lindsay, Magnolia did file a lawsuit for their excessive property taxes. And like you said, we reached out to Magnolia and talked to some of the people visiting the silos. And this is what they had to say. On Friday, September 6th, a suit was filed by Magnolia. In the petition, they claim the appraisals on six of their Magnolia properties are excessive and unlawful. Some of the properties included in the suit are the coffee shop Magnolia Market, the Magnolia Market at the Silos, the Magnolia Table, the Magnolia Table parking lot, and a few more. When I asked some of the people visiting the silos what they thought about the lawsuit, they responded with... Being able to get it to this point all on their own, and then to hear somebody or some entity wanting to take advantage of that success and maybe gouge them some more because of that success that they wrought on their own, that's kind of discouraging, I think. So, yeah. I believe that it's unfair because they bring in so much of what we are needing right now. This place could stay the same, but then you wouldn't have what you, you need to make it grow. And when we reached out to Magnolia, the Magnolia spokesperson released a statement saying, like all property owners, we desire a fair and equitable tax appraisals. This is simply the next step in the standard appeal process, a step taken by many other property owners in the county. And our properties are often used by the county as a point of comparison for nearby property appraisals. So we felt a heightened sense of responsibility to pursue an equal and uniform tax appraisal. However, some people on the KXXV Facebook page think otherwise by posting comments like, everyone's property taxes are going up, they should pay a fair share, and more. The suit does not show how much of the appraised values are in dispute. We reached out to the McLennan County Appraisal District and they said the lawsuit has not been served. And of course, this is a story that we will continue to follow and bring you the latest. Lindsay, back to you. Eliza, thank you. You can see more details about the appraisal values on our web story at kxxv.com.